Objective: To study about human reproduction, the female reproductive system, ovaries, and fallopian tubes. The human female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries, a pair of oviducts, uterus, vagina, and the female external genitalia. These structures are located in the pelvic region. These structures, along with the pair of mammary glands, are structurally and functionally integrated to support the process of ovulation, fertilization, pregnancy, childbirth, and child care. Ovaries. The ovaries are the primary sex organs of females. They produce the female gametes called ova. They also produce the female sex hormones. The pair of ovaries lie one on each side in the lower part of the abdomen. Each ovary is an almond-shaped structure. It is two to four centimeters long. Each ovary is connected to the pelvic wall and uterus by ligaments. The outer layer of the ovary consists of the germinal epithelium. It is a layer of simple cuboidal epithelium. The germinal epithelium produces ovarian follicles. In at the germinal epithelium, there is a dense connective tissue capsule. It is called tunica albuginea. In at the tunica albuginea lies the stroma. It is made up of connective tissue. The stroma is differentiated into an outer cortex and inner medulla. The cortex appears denser. And more granular than the medulla. This is due to the presence of a large number of ovarian follicles in the cortex. The ovarian follicles are in various stages of development. Each follicle is formed from the germinal epithelium by the process of invagination. The medulla is made up of loose connective tissue. It contains abundant blood vessels. Lymph vessels and nerve fibers. Surgical removal of ovaries is called oophorectomy in certain conditions like ovarian cancer. The ovaries are surgically removed. Fallopian tubes or oviducts. The fallopian tubes are a pair of muscular tubes. Each fallopian tube is about ten centimeters long. The fallopian tube extends from the periphery of the ovary. Of its side to the uterus, the fallopian tube is divided into three regions. They are the infundibulum, ampulla, and isthmus. The infundibulum is a funnel-shaped structure. It lies close to the ovary. The margin of the infundibulum is fimbriated. It means it has a large number of finger-like processes called fimbriae. The fimbriae help in the collection of the ova released from the ovary. The infundibulum leads into the wider part called the ampulla. Ampulla is the site of fertilization. The ampulla leads into the isthmus. The isthmus is the narrow last part of the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube has smooth, involuntary muscles in its walls. It is internally lined by ciliated columnar epithelium. The fallopian tube exhibits peristalsis that aids in the movement of the sperms towards the ampulla. Peristaltic and ciliary movements occurring in the fallopian tube conduct the ovum or zygote towards the uterus. The fallopian tube is attached to the abdominal wall by the peritoneal fold called the mesosalpinx. Tubectomy or tubal ligation is the surgical ligation of the fallopian tubes. It is a permanent method of contraception. The human female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries, a pair of oviducts, uterus, vagina. And the female external genitalia. The ovaries are the primary sex organs of females. They produce the female gametes called ova. They also produce the female sex hormones.
The fallopian tubes are a pair of muscular tubes. Each fallopian tube is about 10 centimeters long. The fallopian tube is divided into three regions. They are the infundibulum, ampulla, and isthmus. Ampulla is the site of fertilization. The fallopian tube exhibits peristalsis that aids in the movement of the sperms towards the ampulla.